My name is Nigel Chambers of Big Gold Belt Media. It is a pleasure to talk to you, to you today. How you feeling? Real good, Nigel. Good, good. Listen, um, you know, checking out the first season on Epics, and this was one of those shows that was a little bit of a word of mouth. And ever since uh, Epics now rebranded to MGM Plus, and after a little bit of hard work on my end and other folks that love this genre, this show instantly started to become much, much bigger. And then the fans started to crave and couldn't wait. And now we have season two right here on the horizons for you. This would love to kind of know um, in this very unpredictable world of never knowing if you're going to get a season two or not. What's been your emotions and excitement uh, come for season two? I love how the story has expanded. Uh, and you really can feel, I, I can tell you, you definitely uh, feel that happening. And that's really fun as a performer uh, to to get a sense that the there there are not many limitations for what is the potential of the show at first in the beginning it was just this town as a as a place what you like you imagine or look at any other town like there are rules to a town there are buildings and there's streets and there's a forest but now you start to understand there might be entirely different realms within the same space which is which is exciting because i am a believer that and uh, that there are other realms all around us at all times and it's a matter of attuning your uh perception your sensory abilities to be able to 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 see them but they are there whether or not you think they are yeah and this show explores that dynamic which makes it uh uh, exciting and and the potential to be uh, vast. <laughs> How about for you, the Um, uh, what was your initial question? Just how you feeling about the excitement, knowing that now we have full fan support. MGM Plus is fully pushing this forward, and we were getting ready for a season two. No, it's exciting because you see the the amount of love and care that everyone pours into this show, not just the actors, but the writers and the producers and the directors. I think there's just a lot of love in that show. And that's why the show is, it is what it is. Yeah. Like you see a show that is taken care of and it is, it is great to be working with people that take care of everyone. Yeah. Show. This season, checked out the first five episodes, is quickly expanding. So much is happening. Uh, not so much for Jim right away. Jim's kind of uh, mobile right now, which I would love to kind of know from you, <laughs> ER. Like, how was it to be able to film very steadily for <laughs> a while? <laughs> very what? Steadily? Yeah, very still. Not moving too yeah. much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one one time I broke my collarbone while making a movie. And I had to wrap myself in, a, I got my bones, re bone reset. And then I had to wrap a figure eight underneath uh, the wardrobe for the rest of the film. And it made me very erect. And my wife said to me when she saw it, she said, you know, I don't know, some of your most still work. I, I actually think you, you did well. And this is kind of like that. When you're trapped underneath the house, you can't move much. You have to, I, I, I found that I just you can't have tricks and yeah. sometimes i've you know you can't twitch around to kind of get out of uncomfortable moments you actually are forced to sit in that uncomfortable stew and sometimes that's a really nice way to have to have to deal with things although they may be uncomfortable but to just sit in it and mm -hmm. it forced that issue and i appreciate yeah. that Absolutely. I, I want to quickly throw in this last question because Kathleen brings us a lot of um, important uh, messages with the Matthew family is love. And even in that moment, if you sit and still, we actually are right there with you. I feel like the audience automatically connects with you, what you're going through and the stakes are at hand. So I would kind of love from the two of you two uh, for the final question here is the Matthews family. We're seeing a lot of different things happening here with Tabby and some visions and Jim. Uh, not being to be as mobile as he usually and the kids are kind of trying to figure out like what to do and whatnot uh what where can you say this story of the matthew family is going to go this season we can start with you Catalina. somewhere that you never ever imagine trust me it's like i thought that you know after the tunnels 
coming out of the tunnels, everything was going to be normalized and we're going to meet together and we're going to regroup and maybe Jim is going to sing, think another idea or maybe we're just going to... That's not going to happen. It's going to be, it's going to be something that people are going to be talking about for a long time. Ooh. Yeah. You can't beat that. That's well said. I got I to gotta leave it on that one. <laughs> well then, well then. Well, it is a pleasure to talk to you too. And the fans, you can check out season two premiering April 23rd. And uh, we totally have to talk again because there's so much to talk about without giving spoilers. And it's been an amazing ride so far. The first five episodes I checked out. Thank you so much for your time.